Hi, I'm Jim Jubeck and welcome to this week's Trend of the Week video. This week's Trend of the Week is rip the Band-Aid off. We're talking about um, the uh, screaming from the sidelines by hedgies, uh, people like Bill Ackman, who runs the Pershing Square hedge fund, uh, Jeffrey Grun Gunlock, who runs uh, Double Line Capital, basically urging on the Fed and saying 75 basis points, 75 basis points, which is what the Fed did, is not enough. Uh, the, day, the day before the Fed meeting on the 15th, uh, Gunlock came out and said he wanted 200 basis points uh, the, the following day. Uh, and he wanted to take uh, short-term rates up to immediately to 3%. Uh, Ackman basically called him for a 100, 100 basis point hike on the 15th instead of the 75 we got, and another 100 basis points in, in July. Uh, and he's saying, hey, uh, the market's now assuming that we, we get up to 4% before this stops. Uh, Fed is saying, you know, 3.4% by the end of 2022. So he's saying the market is saying 4% on short-term rates. That'll stop inflation. And he's saying, nah, it's going to be more like 5% or 6%. You can see the kind of, of decline we've gotten in, in Treasury prices. This is the, the iShares 20-year Treasury bond ETF. So we're talking about being here uh, 119 on May 27th, and then dropping here to uh, 108 on this. That's about a 10% decline. Mm. If you were leveraged and playing with somebody else's money, uh, that's a very nice profit. Uh, and then you see the bounce back on, on hopes that the Fed is not going to raise rates as much as everyone feared. Inflation is going to be easier to tame than everyone fears. Okay, two things, two things to remember about this. One is these guys are... Um, arguing their own positions. I mean, Ackman is short treasuries, uh, so he's made a lot of money on the, the decline in treasury prices and the rise in yields. But on the other hand, that doesn't make them wrong, point number two. I think I happen, I'm not short treasuries, I'm not long treasuries, I don't own any treasuries at all, uh, but I happen to think these guys are right. I think that the, the markets hope right now that we can stop inflation with a Fed increase to a 4% uh, short-term rate is really going to turn out to be not true. It's going to turn out to be not enough. I think we're going to see inflation um, being much more resistant than that. And I think we are looking at the 5% or the 6% that Hackman talks about. I think it's important to remember that it went way back in the bad old days when, when inflation was running at about 9% and a high of 11% uh, when Paul Volcker took over uh, and crushed it uh, in the early 80s. Uh, he didn't. He crushed it by raising short-term rates to 14%. There's a long way between 4 and 14. I hope we're closer to 4 than to 14, but I think 4% is just too low to get rid of this inflation. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You get notification that when we're doing our next video, we're doing about three a week. You can go to my, my free site, dobackpicks.com, three portfolios, uh, or my paid site, gbackam.com, which has some options and ETFs. Uh, and if we ever decide to short um, treasuries, that's where it'll show up. So thanks for watching.